Hello, this is a Cataclysm classic guide for Discipline Priest and I'm going to talk us, uh, talk about some things uh, to help you possibly with uh, your rate progression. So boring stuff out of the way, Th these are the, the talents, you can copy them, check them on uh, Wowhead, nothing special, obviously using Atonement Healing for damage damage with the smite heals uh, i'm using three out of three on power and healing simply to help the tanks using greater heal on tanks and using inspiration so that the tank uh, is taking less damage basically when your heal uh, crit you apply 10 percent damage reduction to the tank this is very easy to proc with the penance but other priests i mean other healers may may as well have inspiration and it doesn't stack so i'm using i'm playing 10 men so i want inspiration all the time on the tanks i'm using it uh, some guys are taking away points from empowered healing putting uh, and putting it into darkness uh, about the glyphs here are the glyphs you can Pause the video, copy them using Glyph of Prayer of uh, Power Barrier to uh, help with the healing in uh, dangerous scenarios. You may use Glyph of Power Shield. Stats priority so you want intellect, so you want the highest item level you can get. You want spirit, you should have spirit on every single piece of your gear. But there are two types of items, the items that are coming by default with the spirit, like this ring or maybe this waist, and items who do not. So this ring doesn't have spirit by default, nor does this back. Uh, so if the item does not have uh, spirit on it, like this cloak, you want to reforge uh, it to spirit. And if item does come with the spirit, you want to reforge other secondary stats to haste. So basically I'm only reforging to spirit or to haste. I like haste. Haste is probably the best secondary stats uh, in terms of feeling uh, your class uh, playing better. Like the more haste you have, everything you can do is much faster and just feels better to play as uh, also you have more smite casts which means you have more damage you have more healing and uh, you can cast more prayers of healing you can cast everything faster it's win-win situation mastery increases the potency of your healing uh, of your shields you, so you have larger shields where is that useful so prayer of uh, power world shield is really great spell but it costs shit tons of mana so you want to use it uh, only in oh shit moments on tanks on people but you have something that's called divine divine ages which is basically whenever you crit heals or whenever you using prayer of healing you will apply naturally passively shield so if i'm using prayer of healing i will put um, shield on all five targets that's called prayer uh, divine ages so if we look my details this is from Chogal Heroic in Bastion of Twilight. You can see that Divine Ages is second uh, greatest on, on, on the meters. And the first one is a raw prayer of healing. I will explain why. But uh, that's meaning you can, uh, if you know that the huge damage is coming, you can pre-cast prayer of healing and put the shield. Because shield is really useful, because shield is not over healing. It will always get soaked up. Uh, and that's b basically what mastery does and if you have crit it will just boost the potency of divine shield f further but, but but i wouldn't worry too much of the, about the items because very rarely do you have the uh, the same item uh, i mean very rarely do you have multiple items for the same slots like i yet i I'm yet to have like three or four or five wreaths so that I can choose which one do I want. You will mostly be 
uh, dictated by your stats will mostly be dictated by items you are getting but I would prioritize spirit and haste and you will get mastering crit passively from items uh, that's pretty much it so let's uh, sh talk about some examples of healing also uh, in terms of consumables you would want to use of course your your, your uh, intelligence food and your intelligence flask also you can use volcanic potion that increasing uh, intellect uh, as a pre-potion and you can use your potion of concentration and or uh, mana potions depending on whether you have time to use concentration potions is better but you will sleep and regain mana uh, let's show you some examples on, on, on some of the video so where is the video I think it's this one. So, on a, this is Chogal Heroic in Bastion of Twilight. So, uh, you want to pre potion, you want to pre pot your intelligence potion, because why not? Then I'm using penance because I have force it. So, each time I'm using penance, I'm getting spirit, as well as grace on the tank. So, three stack of grace. Uh, one penance is instantly t a three stack of grace on a tank. Grace is uh, so each stack of grace on a tank increasing uh, priest's healing on that particular tank. And Chogol is pretty intensive on tanks. So, uh, when I'm not casting anything, I'm casting Holy Fire and Smite. That's my filler. I'm always defaulting to Holy Fire Smite when I can. In that per particular order, you want to use Holy Fire first because it boosts the damage of the smite. And of course, uh, you are stacking your Archangel stack stacks. You can see I'm stacking here the, the stacks. Three, four, five. Now I can use my Archangel. Archangel is your cooldown. Read about it. It's in the talents. When you are using Archangel, you're basically doing increased healing so you want to have five stacks of archangel so you can or evangelism let's check what they are called so that's evangelism okay your smite is uh, giving you evangelism and you can use evangelism to proc archangel back to the video so I'm using smites and holy fire. Nothing is really going on particularly. You can use uh, prayer of mending. Prayer of mending is great. Um, uh, filler spell, mana efficient spell. It's not a big deal if you forget about it. Like it just here to help you. Um, so. On Chogal, Shadow Lord will appear, that means the tank will take a lot of damage. I'm using Pain Suppression on it to help alleviate some of the damage. Of course, you will use Pain Suppression when your tank needs it or when, when the, the large amount of damage will come. But here I want to talk about uh, two different scenarios. One is Raid Healing, one is a Tank Healing. So. On Chogal, Chogal is a great example of a fight where you will have 3, 2, 1 big damage. So Chogal is casting Empowered Shadows, which is very similar to Crackling in on the Ferion in BW, uh, BWD, where the whole raid will take in a large amount of damage. So what I want to do is I want to use, of course, my Ar Archangel. I want to pop my Inner Fire. I want to pre-cast my uh, Prayer of Healing to get my Divine Ages stacks. So I will try to pre-cast 
prayer of healing before the damage is going on maybe I even could should on this particular occasion even precast it a bit sooner I did manage to get, get one group precasted and was a little short on the other I used uh, inner focus and I use Archangel so you want to prioritize Archangel when the raid is taking damage so in this situation the only thing I can really do is cast prayer of healing to stabilize every, everyone and use prayer of mending here and there that's, that's pretty much it in terms of uh, raid healing you can only use prayer of, uh, of healing with in combination with Archangel to heal the raid back up as a discipline priest. Uh, okay, of course you will use Shadow Fiend, Mana Him, Potion of Concentration when you can to have uh, the, the mana back up, to get the mana back up. But let's talk about tank healing. So the tank will take shit tons of damage now. So I'm using penance to refresh the grace stuck on tank. The tank now has three stacks of grace, but it's extremely low. So I will use shield on him. Shield is very mana inefficient, but very uh, HP efficient. But it's not enough, so I'm using Flash Heal, which is buying me time to use Greater Heal. In ideal world, I wouldn't want to use Greater Heal at all. And I wouldn't want to use that talent, that boosting healing on Greater Heal. I would much rather have more haste, because it will be nice to play. But in reality, you have to use Greater Heal, you have to spam it if the tanking is requiring that so I'm spamming greater heal to help stabilize the tank and I'm defaulting to smites because I have to stack evangelism to have my archangel ready to go again for the next set of big damage I'm refreshing my uh, forced bonus trying to stack evangelism and that's pretty much it well for this particular fight of course i will use barrier and divine him when i need to i'm saving it for the last phase because in the last phase there is large amount of damage but yet again the empowered shadows are coming and i want to line up my prayer of healing and my archangel i'm pre-casting prayer of healing to get the divine ages on everyone so that the empower so when empowered shadows are hitting like here we already had shields and when you look at the details you can see that divine ages is pretty high up because of all those pre-castings so that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover if you have any questions leave them in the comments also I can provide you my voodoo so my healing frames are voodoo and my uh, spells uh, that you see on the on the on the on the screen. That's Adam. That's called Tell Me When. You can use We Chorus or something. Sadly, I cannot provide you with Raid We Chorus because that's some paid We Chora I, I got from the guild, and it's behind password that keep uh, that is keep it, that that keeps uh, changing. So. Yeah, what can you do? Anyway, 
leave the uh, the questions in comments if you have I'll reply to every comment I get and see ya take care bye